Alrighty, what is going on guys? Rush you here and welcome back to Let's Make a Forge Mod episode 9. Now a lot of you got confused because you didn't watch all the last episode. This this series tutorial thingamadoohickey that we got going on here, it's not over yet. We still have at least three more episodes plus more because I'm definitely going to be doing more than just like 11 episodes. Um, we're going to be doing, this episode is going to be tools, episode 9 is going to be tools. The next one's going to be armor and... After that, it's going to be food, and then maybe I can start teaching you guys how to make a mob. I mean, I know it's changed a little bit since I actually made one, so I'm going to have to look into it uh, and do it, like, again, and go through it and make sure I memorize everything, but other than that, yeah, so let's get started here. So we're going to come down to our package. Um, it should still be here after you uh, did your mod, so... We're going to go ahead, since we just released the first version of our mod, we are going to change this to version 1.1. So version 1.1 is going to contain tools. So the first thing that you're going to want to do here, let's see, we're going to go down to items here, and we are going to go, and we are going to tab in, and we're going to do backslash, backslash, tools. So now we're going to do public static or public final static item and then we'll do ruby x equals new ruby x and then we're going to do our id so we'll do 2000 and Three dot set dot set creative tab tab tutorial 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 all right and then dot set unlocalized name now for anybody who doesn't know this actually gets rid of the name glitch I completely forgot completely forgot about it when I made my first item so you just need to make sure that that is in there all right so that should be it and then after this we are going to do um, we're gonna come up here actually before we do anything else and we're gonna do enum tool material Okay, so actually I'm going to do Ruby pickaxe first because that's easier. So Ruby pick pickaxe. Okay, Ruby pickaxe. Um, and then come right here, Ruby pickaxe. All right, now we're going to come up here and we're going to do as it follows. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to search through your package here. You're going to go to net.minecraft.item. Now you're going to find the enum tool material .java. You're going to open that up. Now as you see right here, these all are um, all of our enum tool materials. Now to actually add a new enum tool material, uh, the first thing that you're going to have to do is uh, make the enum tool material in your thing here. So you're going to come down and we're going to do public enum tool material and then, and then we'll just do ruby we'll just do ruby equals enum dot helper I think Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on a second. Some code's messed up. I'll be RB. All right, we're back. We, uh, actually, this is not enum.helper. It's enumhelper.addToolMaterial. And then you're going to come in here, and you're going to create a name for it. So we're going to do Ruby. And then we're going to do our harvest level, which, uh, one is zero is a um it's uh hold on so I'll, I'll i'll look at it right here so wood is zero 
That means the only ore that it can mine is stone. St now, or, or stone and coal. It can only mine that. And soft materials and stuff. Uh, stone, it can do... Um, it can only mine... What's it called? Stone can only mine iron, and then iron can only mine diamond and emerald. And then the emerald is actually the diamond. So it can mine obsidian. It can mine... Yeah, obsidian, pretty much. So that's how you do that. So you actually just go here. We'll do ours at 2. And then going back here, you see the pr uh, private final int equals max uses. So the max uses we want, we'll do 535. I don't know if that's exactly the same as my other one. Hold on, I'll check here. Um, I made it actually 600. So if you, we'll make it exactly the same, I guess. 600. And then uh, the uh, the this is the how fast it mines. So uh, efficiency on proper material. So we'll do 8.0 float. And then we'll make another comma. So that's how fast it mines. So you see right here, uh, 8 is diamond, uh, 2 is iron, 4 is stone, 2 in wood, 0 gold. So... Yeah, basically that's how fast it mines stuff. The next one is damage versus entity. This is for your sword that you're going to be making. So as you see here, this one is 3.0F, which is actually... Um, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So zero, um, oh, these are off. Actually, my bad. This is actually, if I look at my code here. All right, so this is wrong right here. So this is actually how much damage it does. This is how many half hearts it does. The next one is the efficiency. So we'll make the efficiency 3. And then uh, the next one is its enchantability going all the way up to 30. Uh, and we'll do 20. No, we'll do 15. 15 is good. It's not too overpowered. Okay. And then uh, actually let me just switch my keyboard into coding mode here really quickly. And okay, we're already on coding. And then we're just going to click M1. And I don't know. Public final static. Why do we have all these things right here? Save it. Why are we having all these errors? I don't know. Public enum to material Ruby. Oh, because you can't have this the exact same name. So we'll do Ruby tools. Ruby tools. That should fix everything. Yep. There we go. That fixes everything. So now. You're going to copy this line of code right here. All right, so control C. You're going to do this one, two, three, four. Just change the name to whatever you want. So the next one we'll do is a spade. So do Ruby spade equals Ruby spade. And then we'll do Ruby X, Ruby X, and then Ruby X. So keep in mind, you do have to actually make a different class for every single tool that you make. Otherwise, it will not work. We'll do Ruby Sword, and then Ruby Sword. And then Ruby Ho. Ho. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and change all of our IDs. So this is going to be 204, 5, 6, and 7. Now we're going to change all of our names in here. So we're going to do... Uh, Ruby Shovel, 
Ruby X, Ruby Sword, and um, Ruby Ho, Hose, Ruby Hose. And then also, we are going to have to copy our .func right here. Copy this. This is for the textures. We're going to put all this on the end. So, boom, 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 boom. Delete this. Delete this. This this and this and I totally just did the wrong function I'm great alright actually that was the wrong function my bad we need this function so control C and then we're just gonna go right here we're gonna go paste and we finna go paste and we're gonna paste and we're gonna paste and we're gonna paste, and we're gonna paste. so now we're just gonna come in here we're gonna do ruby underscore pickaxe ruby underscore shovel ruby underscore axe ruby underscore sword ruby underscore hope all right so there you go so now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna type all of this uh, we're going to do a comma, and we're going to do uh, Ruby Tools. Yep. Yep, that's what we do. Ruby Tools. Ruby Tools. Ru Ruby Tools, Ruby, Tools, <laughs> don't worry, we're almost to, to a better part, Ruby, Ruby, Tools. So this is clarifying that you need your, um, uh, what's it called, you're going to need your, what's your Ruby thingamadoohickey here, so come on. Why isn't it letting me create a class? Hold on. So if I look here, public static item. I'm looking at my other code from before. Um, image tutorial emerald. All right, so we're just gonna create the classes ourselves because this thing isn't wanting to cooperate with us. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna create new. Not this. Stop that. I'm going to do new class Ruby Pickaxe. And I wasn't supposed to put a space there. Okay. We're going to save this. And we're gonna, this is when it gets fun. We're going to do extends item pick. And then we're going to import. And we're going to add the constructor. And then we're done. All right. So then we're going to create the class Ruby Shovel. New class Ruby Spade. And we're coming here. Control A, Control. And then we're going to go here. Fix this to spade. Let's change this to spade. And we're gonna clean up our imports, and then we are going to save all. New class. Ruby. X. Finish. Control A. Control V. Uh, Ruby pickaxe rename type to Ruby axe and then uh, 
item x, clean up our imports by hitting control, um, I don't even remember because I just used my thing. You can just clean them up yourself by hovering over and then clicking import and all that. You guys know how to do that, simple stuff. But since I haven't linked on my keyboard, all I have to do is hit my M1 button and it automatically cleans it up for me. So that's really good to have. Another reason why I love this keyboard. Uh, so then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna do new class uh, Ruby sword finish control A control V change type item sword clean up the imports control F or not control F uh, control alt or no control shift F I think I don't know hold on let's see does that do anything control shift F there you go Control Shift F makes your code look better. See, so watch. If you come into our uh, tutorial mod, Control Shift F makes everything look pretty. Sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. It is not. Oh, I needed to put public. Oh, so make sure you put public static on that. That'll make it not be mad. So then we're going to create class Ruby Ho. Hover over it, create the class. Control A, Control V. Uh, change, rename the type. Item Ho. Clean up our imports. So now if we save everything should be all better but we don't have our um, textures in yet so we have all of our code done now we just have to put in our textures like last time so we're going to pull up our finder here and then we are going to pull up our another finder we just need two doesn't matter where and then we'll just open up our, since we're on our desktop here and we'll go to modding and we'll go to modding stuff and we'll go to textures more recipes assets more recipes plus textures items and then here is all of our item things so actually we're gonna come in here and we are going to just hold on let me look at the explore real quick so I can clean up the names in the code so whatever your texture name is, you guys know how to texture stuff. You've done it before. So right here, there's not going to be an underscore. There's not going to be an underscore. Not going to be an underscore. Not going to be an underscore. And not going to be an underscore. Good stuff. So let me pull up our items library here. Uh, and then we're going to go into our desktop. Modding tutorial mod forge uh, MCP source minecraft assets rush RG tut textures items and we're gonna copy this hold control copy 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 control or right click copy right click paste there's all of our textures save all run mod it's gonna go ahead and launch our minecraft there is our minecraft Whew. Searching for our textures. There's all of our textures. Good stuff. Open up our single player. New world. Do you wish to? Oops. Do you wish to continue loading? Yes. You're gonna get that every time you add new stuffs into your mod. Let's go over here. Rush Jerry's tutorial mod. And we didn't do our basic stuff. We didn't add our name. 
So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we'll come down here. We'll go in items, make another subset. Backslash, backslash, tools, language, registry, dot add name, uh, Ruby, pickaxe, Ruby, pickaxe. Language registry dot add name Ruby spade Ruby shovel Proper Minecraft code is whenever you have it in whenever you make a shovel, always in the code call it a spade, but when you put it out to your people, make it a shovel. It's a jeb thing. It's a yeb thing. Language registry dot add name Ruby axe Ruby axe language regis re registry there we go dot add name Ruby sword Ruby sword and language registry dot add name Ruby ho Ruby Oh. Save. Run. Let it load up once again. There it is, because it is already loaded up pretty much. Find that. All of our textures have been pathed to the correct locations. Let's go ahead and fly out of here. Alright, here we go. So there you go, plus 5 attack damage, plus 7 attack damage. You know, you have all of our tools here. So we'll go ahead and go into game mode 0. And we'll just dig down here. As you can see it works about as efficiently as a diamond pickaxe so that's pretty cool so that's pretty good for a for a pickaxe if I don't say so myself and then uh, there you go got our wonderful wonderful axe and our hoe And then our sword. Come here, sheep. Boom. Crit hits. See? Pretty overpowered. And then if we come down here, as you can see, we can mine coal. Let me see if I can find anything else. Mine iron, iron. Let me come down even further. We should be able to mine our own ore if we can find any. Let's see, can we find any of our own ore? Cause that'd be freaking awesome. Ah, here's some. I missed. There you go. Drops our ore. And then uh, another thing I'm going to go over in the next episode, actually, 
is how to make it so that it drops your actually I can do that right now I'm gonna do that right now because there's a lot of people asking about that so really quickly I'm gonna open up my uh, we're gonna go into here we're gonna go to our uh, modding and we're gonna go to our more recipes plus I'm gonna go to forge MCP source minecraft and then rush no 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 not so, yeah rush RG, more recipes and then we're gonna go into more recipes ruby ore and then we're gonna come down here and as you can see right here is this right here all right so now you're going to do you're gonna go into your Ruby or class and we're gonna type in as follows. You're gonna go down and here you're gonna do public Oh wait, hold on. This isn't a new method, so you're gonna go into a new bracket. So you're gonna go public int ID dropped int par one random and then par two random sorry if you can hear my dogs and then int par int par three and open brackets and then you're gonna do return uh tutorial mod dot ruby dot item id and then you're also going to go and make another another method public int quantity dropped and then random random open bracket return and you can either do uh, random or you can do return one or any other so you want it to drop five drop five drop three drop three drop one drop one drop zero drop zero drop one so then you're going to import our random and then uh, that's it so yeah so now if we actually go into playing our game and then we open up our game here it's gonna load and then we play it here Go into our inventory and we place down our ruby ore. And then we go ahead and mine it. As you see, it'll drop our ruby. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's pretty much all I got for you today on tutorial wise. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you let me know by leaving a thumbs up. And also make sure that. You hear my sister screaming in the background, right? It's really annoying. That's all it is. That's all it is all day long. <laughs> but yeah, um, so now that that tutorial is out of the way and you guys actually learned how to go ahead and drop your ores and stuff and you know how to make tools now because I know a lot of you guys are making or whining about how I wasn't going to do a tool episode, but I was because you guys didn't watch the end of the video. You got to do that. You can't just make assumptions. You can't make assumptions. Assumptions are bad for your health. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the Crisis Hub and my channel. My Twitter's in the description down below, and my, uh, or in the Crisis Hub's YouTube and Twitter, Twitter is in the description down below. Uh, so anyways, guys, I thank you so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Peace.